I want to talk about why it's so important and why I'm going on about it as much as I am. I am going to be doing a head shave that is having all my hair shaved off when I am down in London for the Summer in the City YouTube event because of two charities. One of these is called St John's Hospice and I am going to be donating at least part, possibly all, of the money that I get from the sponsorship to the local one. St John's Hospice takes care of people that are unwell it, for various reasons. Obviously, I haven't gone into in-depth research about what they do, but I know that they recently took care of somebody who um, was a member of a group that I'm part of and a friend. Um, they have probably looked, over, looked after hundreds of thousands of people throughout all the different St John's hospices that there probably are, but I want to donate money to the local one that looked after somebody that was cared very much about. Um, I know that it's incredibly difficult times for a lot of people right now financially. Trust me, I'm struggling right now to have changed in how I'm being paid once again going from fortnightly payments to calendar monthly payments. I'm not asking you to donate hundreds of pounds in one go, if you can only afford 50p, £1, £2, however little you can afford to donate, I will be having sponsorship forms on me and the link in my description to the crowdfunder can be used to donate money towards helping this charity. The other charity that I'm helping, um, I will be putting the money if enough is raised into the um, women's aid campaign. This is the um, campaign to save um, women's aid, South Yorkshire women's aid. In case you don't know, um, domestic violence and domestic abuse is um, responsible for two women a week. Um, dying at the hands of a partner or former partner or somebody that they know. He also is responsible for three women a week, at the very least, taking their own lives to escape from an abuser. I have been both peripherally and directly involved with street campaigns, both outside our local council and um, near a local shopping centre etc and have videos that do attest to this. I recently just met Ken Loach who is also supporting the campaign, have sent tweets um, to John MacDonald who also supports the campaign and supports um, Lou Harrison who um, was working at Women's Aid but did not have her contract renewed. These are important because these people basically take care of and help save the lives of women that are fleeing domestic abuse, domestic violence, that's emotional, sexual, physical violence at the hands of a partner or ex-partner or somebody that they know in the family. Um, so even though I know it's hard times for everybody, um, please dig into your pocket, 10p, 20p, 30p, 50p, whatever you can afford to write down on my sponsorship form or if you can donate £1 or £2 via the crowdfunder that's um, linked in my description down below. I wouldn't be asking if these weren't important things that I didn't care about. Um, and it's not just my emotional connection to these 
things for uh, people that I know having you know, been taken care of by these charities. Um, I've donated even if myself to um the women's life matter save women's aid campaign in the past and would donate again this is why i want to do this sponsored hair shave so that i can possibly raise enough money to donate to both st john's hospice and the women's aid campaign the people that are part of this campaign the people that i care about very deeply that some of whom have um, been people that have escaped from me at that situation in the past um, so this is not something I'm doing lightly, obviously I like having hair, but these are important things that I am trying to help highlight, and um, basically I am just putting this appeal out there once again to ask that people dig into their pockets um, to help donate to worthy causes because it could have been a member of your family or a friend that you were close to that you cared about that, have, that has passed away that might need of care from somewhere like St John's Hospice or even if they haven't passed away needed some kind of respite care etc and near yeah, obviously um, with the women's aid campaign um, it could be your mum, your sister, your aunt, a niece, somebody like that who um, needed a service like this that is basically being over time lost refuges and near services have closed down in many many parts of the country and near, I wanted to do everything I can to help so if you can please go to the link in the description down below and donate or I will have physical sponsorship forms soon with me, including when I'm in London at the event. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.